Thank you. Dr. Doremus, on page two of your testimony, you mentioned an uh, interagency working group on IUU fishing and seafood fraud chaired by NOAA and the State Department. Um, let me ask if we need to expand on that. Senator Coons and I have a bill called the um, Maritime Safe Act, which would add to that a whole of government approach and it would direct that uh, included in this working group would be the intelligence community as appointed by the director of national intelligence. Are we on to something here? Would it, uh, would it help to, to be more all inclusive and take a whole of government approach? And specifically, uh, would it help us to, to add the intelligence community in this effort? Thank you, Senator Wicker. Uh, very much appreciate your support of these efforts. Uh, the administration is currently reviewing the SAFE Act. I can't comment uh, specifically on that now, but more generally to the interagency collaboration that you noted at the outset of your question. Uh, we do have very effective cross-agency collaboration. I think it has been broadly recognized uh, among the panelists here that that's a central component of being able to continue our steady progress against IUU fishing and uh, I do think that that approach, uh, what you're characterizing as a whole of government approach, is an uh, essential ingredient of our ability long term uh, to be able to set the uh, and best use the institutional capabilities that we have uh, among the federal government agencies, as well as with uh, the regional fishery management organizations and our other government partners around the globe in tackling this problem. It is, uh, right now, does the, inter does the um, intelligence community um, act as a part of your working group? At this point in time, uh, I think we have uh, always opportunities for improving sharing of information. Uh, we do share information uh, uh, through a number of existing channels that do involve intelligence agencies. Okay. Well, let me shift then to, um, to an issue with Mexico. Mexican crew boats called lanchas engage in frequent illegal fishing in U.S. federal waters, including in the Gulf. They typically run drugs up from Mexico into Texas and then fish their drift nets on boat rides back to Mexico. And the proceeds, I understand, help finance ongoing cartel operations. It's troubling to me, but based on information I have, that five times the amount of red snapper um, are caught in this way five times more than uh, uh, my Mississippi uh, legal fishermen are allowed to catch. How is our um, cooperation going with the Mexican government and how can we improve our efforts to combat illegal fishing, particularly by Mexican lanchas? Thank you, Senator. This has uh, been recognized as a significant problem for some time. And we've been working very closely uh, both with the U.S. Coast Guard in gathering information about uh, violations, providing that information to the government of Mexico, and then also working very closely uh, with the government of Mexico in providing that information and understanding how uh, they are deploying it through their legal authorities uh, to prosecute violators uh, of, of, our, of our laws. Uh, things are progressing uh, well. We are not in the place we were a number of years ago. I think the signs of progress are very promising. Uh, we have uh, shared information, and the Mexican government has shared information with us, uh, charging documents, court proceedings, uh, uh, documentation of the sanctions that they've levied. Uh, so we believe we're moving in a very positive direction on this problem. It will require sustained uh, effort uh, by all of us. Um. Okay, and, and then uh, Vice Admiral Abel, uh, uh, who owned this Runda ship? What, um, what, was it privately owned by a Chinese company? It, Chinese vessel, sir, returned to the Chinese. And, and Senator, your question about intel. Uh, the Coast Guard has well, a foot in both camps, and certainly we're members of the intel community. So in our enforcement activities, we also work with intel so that we can levy all the, um, the exquisite capabilities that the United States has on intel and uh, large oceans and many targets, 
and sea change and temperatures and salinities to try to forecast where the illegal activity could be and then intelligence means to track those. So already uh, we're the interlocutor between uh, the Coast Guard in fishing enforcement and intelligence. Oh, oh okay, but, uh, but I was asking about this Chinese ship. Uh, is it privately owned? And do you, do you think, why would it be, uh, to follow up on, on the chairman's point, why would they help with one privately owned ship and not with others? Do you think they're favorites of the regime or uh, uh, what, what the difference would be there? Uh, sir, I'm not sure I have the answer on that one, but I will certainly follow up as far as the actual ownership of the vessel. It was Chinese flag, though. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.